let us see two more questions uh, which tells us the application of dot product and cross product respectively in this question that you see there is a lawn mower which is being pushed by a gardener the force that, that is applied by the gardener is in this direction and the lawn mower will move in the forward direction we have to find out the angle between these two vectors the vector x which is the vector uh, representing the force and y is the vector representing the displacement and we have represented that angle with theta x y so to find out the angle between x and y the process will be same that we did earlier we have the formula we remember the formula of dot product and if you reshuffle it you will get something like this So, to find out the dot product of x and y, let's do this quickly. We have to multiply 10 with minus 4 because 10 ay and minus 4 ay both are in y direction. Then 2 from x vector and 0.5 from y vector should also be multiplied. And the answer we will get is minus 39 and uh, let's find the magnitude of x and y separately because we'll need it magnitude of x will be 100 that means 10 square and 2 square that is 4 so we'll get under root of 104 and it will be 10.2 and the magnitude of y will be in the root of 4 4 are 16 plus 0.5 square will be 0 0.25 so it will be under root of 16.25 and the answer will be 4.03 now let us substitute all these calculations in the first equation that which will help us to find the angle which is cos theta xy is equal to minus 39 divided by 10.2 into 4.03 we will keep this minus in minus 39 because we know that the angle that we are going to evaluate is not an acute angle in few previous videos we have seen that I have ignored this minus sign and I have taken just the magnitude but in every case we cannot do that whenever it's written that we have to take we have to find out only acute angle then only we will um, skip this minus sign on the numerator but right now the problem itself is displayed here and it shows that the angle is not acute it is obtuse so we will not skip this minus sign because it will help us find the proper value of the angle so we will uh, find out cos theta xy as minus 0.95 and uh, to find out theta xy we will do cos inverse of minus 0.95 which will be 161.8 degree so the angle that we wanted is 161.8 degree and it is the angle between the force and the displacement now see this question this question will help you understand the application of cross product we know that the cross product when you find out it not only multiplies the magnitude of the two vectors and multiplies the sign of the angle between them but it also adds a unit vector which helps us find the direction of this area 
that we have just found. So uh, this application we are going to use here. This question says that this is a wooden block which is uh, having flat bottom but tilted top. So we need to find out that what how much by how much angle this top is tilted as compared to the floor. So uh, if we uh, draw a normal a perpendicular emerging from the top uh, surface you will see that the normal this unit vector let us name it as a top it will be a little tilted because the surface is tilted but if you draw a normal on the surface or on the uh, lower surface of the box this block this uh, direction will be perpendicular to the floor as well and it can be directly written as az the bottom unit vector is az so uh, we in this uh, direction will work and we'll see how to do it uh, so first of all we need to find the cross product of the vector a and the vector b and to do it we'll form a determinant ax ay and az so a has only x components so we'll write 3 here 0 0 and B has uh, no X component only Y and Z component so finding out this when you cross multiply these you will get 3 a Y plus 12 AZ I have written it directly because I know now you will be able to do this by yourself and this is A cross B and uh, let us also find out the magnitude of this result and the magnitude of this result will be under root of 3 square that is 9 and 12 square that is 144 and you will get 12.37 so why we did these two steps because we need to find out the unit vector directed towards the and directed from the top the tilted top so the tilted top area we have now it is a cross b and we also have its magnitude so to find this unit vector which is emerging from the top what we can do is we can find its magnitude we will divide the vector by its magnitude this cross multiplication so what we'll get, we'll get 3ay plus 12az divided by 12.37 and it can be written as 0.243ay plus 0.97az and uh, we have the top unit vector, we have the bottom unit vector and the bottom unit vector we have seen that it is nothing but az perpendicular to the xy plane. So let's dot multiply this top vector and this bottom vector. We know that the magnitudes of unit vectors are 1 so both will be 1 and uh, then we'll do cos theta which is the angle between these two vectors that is the angle that we need to find out and uh, and it will be multiplied properly like this uh, 0.243 ay plus 0.97 az dot multiplied by simply az and you know that only the same direction vectors get multiplied and will result in a constant that is 0 0.97 so we finally have cos theta is equals to 0 0.97 and for this we can find out theta is equals to cos inverse of 0 0.97 that would give us would give us 14 point zero seven degrees 
So this much tilt is there uh, on the top of this uh, wooden block. So that is all. We have solved two questions. These two questions will uh, help you understand it why we find out dot product, why we find out cross product. Hope you understood everything. Thank you.